Hi, I'm Rachel Gerninger with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the 20th Annual Art Directors Guild Awards, where we celebrate excellence in production design. How are you? Doing great. How are you this evening? I'm good. You look excellent, by the way. Thank you. Yay. Yeah, so I love your suit. My name is Rachel. Hello, Rachel. I'm Nelson. Nice to meet you. So one of the things about being uh, involved in something with production design is that there's a lot of creativity because you're creating an entire universe. Is that correct? Exactly. Sets, props, costumes, hair, makeup, special effects, stunt rigs, vehicles. I mean, the entire visual language. That's, I mean, to think of how encompassing that is, what's something that you do on a daily basis that people might not know that you do? Uh, you're actually thinking about character on every level, the back history, it's not in the script. So you have to figure out what their history was, Do they? what are their likes and dislikes, You know where they have spent their life before you meet them, so that they feel real when you actually do meet them, just from the visual clues we get from looking at someone's space. What was, what's some of the things that you look for specifically when you're trying to award some of these awards uh, this evening? When I'm evaluating awards, I'm always looking for the artifice. If something sticks out that feels false, you kind of go, ah, okay, that doesn't feel real. It, it, it's not how someone really would live in that situation. Or that material doesn't look real. Or organic. It, it doesn't feel organic. It doesn't feel germane to the story. It's all about narrative design, not just about architectural design or interior design. It's about narrative. How do you tell a story and does it support that story and take you to an, a journey that's unusual and specific for that place? I feel like it's it's essentially painting an entire picture so that a character can go on the backdrop and instantly make sense. You bet. You And you never really know the percentage of change you're doing to an actor's performance by creating an environment that elevates them to make them feel like they're really there wherever it is. And so they're coming in and there's you know, letters to them on their desk or letters ready to be signed from them. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, 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 I'm this person. This is who I am and because it's here on my desk or here are my things in my closet. Those little details that can actually elevate something that you really can't measure, you can't quantify. Well, absolutely, because it's a very, it's one of those experiences where it's it's a complete immersive experience. Yes, exactly. So the more immersive you can make it, the better that the film is going to, or the, or the commercial or anything else is going to succeed. I try to make it uh, feel so very real when you walk into the space that you kind of forget that it was made for this particular use. And then people like, believe it, they go for you, they, they take the ride with you. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, and thank I look you. forward to everything. You bet. Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks for watching. And if you've liked what you've seen here, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what TV or movie universe you would like to live in.